When a new technology comes along, it makes sense to get upset about the loss of something familiar, like new Coke or crystal clear gravy. We're hungry for something different. Turns out the only tech retirement that didn't make me upset was when Microsoft got rid of Clippy. You were a pain in my butt, bro. But you know what? I loved you all the same, Clippy. When it comes to Universal Analytics being retired starting July 1, 2023, I've heard outrage from the entire internet about the loss of a trusty workhorse reporting tool for internet marketers, SEOs, analysts, bloggers, small business owners, agencies, e-commerce store owners, app developers, WordPress sites, and even door-to-door -door dictionary salesmen. So, it's a dictionary salesman. Hmm. But why is everybody so upset about the demise of Universal Analytics? Well, I asked my cousin Jeffrey, who's been in the advertising business for over 40 years, about why he's upset about switching to GA4. Here's the deal. I hate Google Analytics 4. It's so bad, and I'm pissed at Google. How dare you, Google? Well, thanks for sharing your opinion, cousin, but I think you're wrong. And I'm here to tell you that all this rage is misguided, and the retirement of Universal Analytics is the best thing that has happened to the internet since David went to the dentist. Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. And the reality is that you've been using Google Analytics wrong the whole time, and this is a fresh start that you needed to move on. So stop crying about the loss of Google Analytics and start to love Google Analytics 4 instead. Listen up as I show you why GA4 is a perfect opportunity to up your analytics game by answering the biggest complaints I've heard from my cousin Jeffrey. Google's really gonna pay for this. I'm gonna move away from Google Analytics and I'm gonna use another tool. Listen, I've been evaluating alternatives to Google Analytics like everybody else. And while I've had blinders on for years, I figured there were myriad options to replace Google Analytics for free now that GA4 is running out. So yeah, that's the thing, right? There are a ton of free tools out there that replace GA4, right? Wrong. For over a decade, Universal Analytics was the only free analytics tool in the world worth using. And now the only free analytics tool worth using is, drum roll, Google Analytics 4. I've done my research and evaluated over 30 analytics tools, and here's the deal. There are no free and easy alternatives to Google Analytics. Everything else that's worth something that's easy to install that has the features of GA will cost you at least $20 a month. And I really don't think that most users value their analytics beyond the free aspect, so I highly doubt anybody will be using a paid alternative. How dare Google stop collecting data on July 1st, 2023? and not allow us to import our Universal Analytics data into GA4. Back in 2014, they transported our data. Why not now? Listen up, Jeffrey. I'm as mad as anybody about Google Analytics not migrating our old data to GA4. I wish it would happen automatically. But there are so many reasons why it won't work that I've come to grips with it. First of all, the event-based data model in GA4 is more lightweight than Universal, and so most of the data won't fit in the new system. Second of all, 99.9% .9 of installations of Universal Analytics were incorrect and had inaccurate data. And so importing inaccurate data into a new system isn't really worth the effort, especially if it perpetuates false conclusions from incorrect data. And not only that, but Universal Analytics had the concept of views and filters, and so you'd have to choose which of the views you want to keep and merge with GA4. And that's not simple or an easy thing to do because of the way that it works. There would be no way to do a one-click migration to GA4 with any level of accuracy. So I'm gonna say this, do I miss having views in GA4? Of course I do, I liked views, they were handy, but also I found that views were a relic from the past, from the urchin and classic analytics days. And so once goals were expanded from four goals to 20 and other features were implemented like custom metrics and custom dimensions, views were barely necessary. The reality is you didn't need over 90% of the data that Universal Analytics collected for you. It was a bloated system that led you to more false conclusions than it was worth. GA4 is the only tool out there if you want to go with my small data method, and it's the only free small data approved platform. And so after a year on the new system, I think you won't miss Universal GA at all because you're gonna love the new features and you're gonna find that simplicity helps you get to where you wanna be faster and you can do more meaningful analysis on fewer metrics. And that's really all that matters in the small data world. 
How am I supposed to even use Google Analytics 4 if it doesn't show me important metrics like bounce rate? Oh, bounce rate. Now I've been on the record for over a decade saying that bounce rate is the worst metric in the history of analytics. It's actually on the wrong side of history and I'm not sad to see it go. Bounce rate wasn't purposeful, it wasn't an outcome, it was a red herring that prevented millions of users from configuring their better analytics metrics based on performance and outcomes and using goals. At best, bounce rate was an approximation of your visitor quality based on an arbitrary and limited set of page interactions. Bounce rate was a metric and you were lazy if you used it. Now in GA4, you have the ability to only service useful metrics and reports. And while not all metrics that we love in Universal Analytics will be available or were announced with the switch to GA4, I trust that if a metric is useful in Universal, it will be added soon to GA4, and I think you need to have some faith too. What about having to retag my entire website for GA4? This seems like a lot of work, and I thought Google Analytics was supposed to be easy. You're right that Google Analytics is supposed to be easy, but so much has changed in the online world since Universal Analytics was announced in 2012. Universal Analytics was invasive, it took privacy out of the hands of users, and was built to easily send data to Google's paid advertising platform. The bloated software that is UA was even responsible for slowing down websites that weren't using the latest version of the GA code. Think of it this way. What were you doing back in 2012? Were you using the same password on every site? Did you use a single computer to accomplish most of your tasks? Did you ever dream of making an e-commerce purchase on a mobile device? No way! The world was different a decade ago and updating to the new GA4 code eliminates all the bloat of your website that has been accrued over the years. It's like doing a cleanse to get rid of toxins. GA4 is like probiotics for the guts of your website. I spent tens of thousands of dollars over the years on consultants and training to make sure I had Google Analytics set up right. And now it doesn't work. Let's address the sunk cost fallacy for what it is. Any money you spend to make your analytics data more accurate in the past is simply that, something from the past. The money you spent is a sunk cost and there's no getting it back. But I am hopeful that you found value in your investment back then and that you'll find value in investing in making this new paradigm accurate as well. But here's something I can assure you, you never had perfect data in the first place. Perfect data is a fruitless pursuit and it's like chasing the mirage on the horizon or a false summit. You can burn a lot of time and money in pursuit of perfect when good enough will suffice. I've been a teacher of Google Analytics for over a decade with tens of thousands of students. The thing I try to leave every student with is the knowledge that analytics data is meant to be directional, not absolute. And the same goes for my time as a Google Analytics consultant. I have been inside over 1,000 Google Analytics accounts and I could find something wrong with every one of them, even my own GA account. Perfection isn't the key here, action is. Keep investing in making actionable data and insights and you'll be able to take action more quickly and definitively. I'm an SEO and I've had Google Analytics since it came out in 2006. Landing pages, they're the most important report in my work and now it's gone. I can't use Google Analytics 4 without my reports being available. When it comes to seeing your favorite reports and views in GA4, I think you'll soon be pleasantly surprised with the parity that you're gonna see. Landing page reports and search console linking, it'll be new, improved, and more actionable. And for other reports, I'm really just not sad to see them gone from GA4. Many of the old Universal Analytics reports were archaic. These reports were based on the desktop web era where people used a single computer and didn't translate as well into the mobile first era. With GA4, Google has incorporated advanced data modeling and session stitching to estimate the real traffic sources for your visitors. So you don't have to work as hard to get a complete view of your users. No other analytics tool has the type of access to data that Google has overall, and GA4 is at the cutting edge of this type of AI technique. Universal Analytics, on the other hand, was introduced closer to the release of the original Space Jam website than the inferior sequel that came out in 2021. You know what? I'm still not convinced, Jeff. I still have several more reasons why I don't like GA4. You know what? You're right on this one. There are plenty more arguments that I've heard against GA4. But this video is getting pretty long, so let me answer your questions in another video, okay? You drive a hard bargain, cousin. I'll be back next week with more complaints. I'm looking forward to it too, cuz. See you next week. And for the rest of you, 
While you're waiting for part two of this video series, I have something for you. Want to transition to GA4 the right way? Well, the best way is to download our 30-page Google Analytics 4 migration checklist PDF. We have screenshots, checklist guide, everything you need in order to migrate to GA4. And you can get it for free at ddu.ai slash GA4.